Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG! Let's find out where we are! Oh! Could it be? It's a bunch of Yoshis! But we can't understand them, and apparently they won't let me jump on them. Or at least get on their saddle. Why do they all have saddles? Don't answer that, viewers. But anyway, hmm, got a little mailbox here, but nothing we can do there. Some people were asking me last time, Ichi Bailey, why didn't you uh, keep playing that Goomba Thumping minigame? Uh, after the flowers that I got from it, uh, all you get are frog coins. And I mean, yeah, that's nice, but uh, well, I got better things to do and I've got more than enough frog coins anyway. Wait, what was that? Looks like something with a honeymoon? Hmm, I wonder who those two are. Let's find out. Ooh, that, guy, that guy's got shades. Bad to the bone, huh? Hey, hey! Sounds like a plan, but none of them want to talk to me. Oh, oh okay, sounds like a plan. Yuchi! What does it even mean? Are you cracked? What? Woolsey, you, you can't just put words together like that and expect them to make sense. Oh, I will miss you, Woolsey, when it is all said and done, though. Hmm, we can't race against that guy, though. We need cookies. Can we find a cookie monster? Let's find out. But if he is the fastest, wouldn't that mean he's actually backing it up? He's not just, like, trash-talking and everything? Hmm. Hey, how's it going? Sure, why not? How hard could it possibly be? Hey, hey, all right, we can get some cookies. Can I get bacon, too? No. No, there is no Yoshi bacon. Oh, wow. Well. But anyway, we got some cookies, so now we can uh, do the Yoshi races here. Oh, yeah, there was one other thing. Before I forget, if I can get off Yoshi, there we go. Hit the A button to do that, I think. I think that's what I did. Uh, we got the Super Flame from Mario there. It's basically the same thing as the Fire Orb there, but it's more powerful. And it costs more. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's why I didn't say anything, because it's not, nothing really different from what we had before. So It only hits one enemy, too. So, So now we got what might be the toughest mini game in the game, the Yoshi Races, or Mushroom Derby. I call it the Yoshi Races, but anyway, uh, part of the reason why this game is so difficult is because the game, or the, this mini game is so difficult, is because the instructions lie. Where it says, press them with the ribbon, or rhythm, don't believe it, he's lying to you. I think Boshi uh, uh, bribed him to give us bad directions. We can eat a cookie to get through the race, but I'm not going to do that. I think that's a cheap shot. So, uh, but no, I, I think we're good here. A and B button. Now when he says with the beat, don't believe him. You want to press the A and B buttons on the off beat. That's the real trick to this one. Fortunately, I'm musically inclined, so that'll make it easier for me. If you're not, well, I'll try to do something that'll help you out. Uh, whenever you hear this sound, that's me uh, tapping on my table here next to the microphone uh, with the beat. Whenever you hear this sound, that's me pressing the buttons on my Super Nintendo controller there uh, on the off beat. So let's do a little bit of practice here, shall we? So hopefully the microphone will pick this up. Do you hear that, viewers? So hopefully you got that. Uh, another thing that I'm going to do to try and help you guys uh, figure out how to do this mini game is I'm going to put a link in the video description that will... Uh, visually demonstrate how to do it. I, I found this video just searching on YouTube and it, uh, I mean, it's a camera video, but he shows you how to do this 
uh, race more visually than what I can describe verbally here. So let's go to the race and see how it goes. One on one, let's do it. Haha! -ha! Easy! First try! Not bad. You can also press the Y button to eat a cookie, and then you'll get a huge burst of speed for a little while there. So if you're falling behind, that's a way you can sort of make up for it a little bit. Oh yeah! Who's the boss? Yoshi's the boss. I don't care what anyone else says. Not Tony Danza. Uh -huh. You don't vote for kings. Hey, hey, all right. So how many cookies do I get for that? Did I get any cookies? Hey, hey, all right. Ooh, we get another Yoshi cookie. Nice. Uh, Yoshi cookies can actually be used in battle. Uh, I've actually never used them. <laughs> but uh, my understanding is that they work like the Ragnarok Esper. Yeah, Esper in uh, Final Fantasy VI, where you use them on an enemy, it morphs them, uh, Yoshi eats them, and he poops out an item. So basically morphing them. So there we go. And we can do another race here, which I want to do. Uh, it's a little bit harder, but not nearly as hard as the last game I made an LP for with racing. Uh, you remember that one, viewers. This one, not nearly as hard. Once you realize the game is tricking you, that is, with the directions. So, let's hop back on and do another game. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, with this one, or this Yoshi here, you can store or get back your cookies there. But I don't want to do that right now. I want to win some more cookies. So let's see how we can do. 2.5 to 1, huh? Sure, why not? Sounds like a plan. Well, I've only got three cookies, so got to start somewhere. You don't have to do this mini game, by the way. It's just nice. Did both the races on my first try. It was kind of hard, too, because normally when I'm playing this, I'm holding the controller with both hands, so I have a little bit more stabilization on my controller. But because I'm tapping the table there to help, uh, help you guys see when I'm pressing the, the buttons on the controller there, uh, I'm holding the controller with one hand, so it's kind of difficult for me to do that. And I'm holding it like in midair. I'm not like holding it up against my body to stabilize the controller. So, wow, that worked out enormously better than I thought it would. But anyway, I don't want to hold on to all these cookies. So let's just store them all for now. And well, since I've got seven, let's just store all those for now. You can keep on winning more eventually. And there are some pretty good items you can get from them. Not that you really need them, but they're there. So, like, you can get red essences and some stuff like that. So, but that's all we can do here. Let's, uh, move on with the plot then, shall we? Let's go to Moleville. You could have gone straight here instead of the pipe vault, but I decided not to. I wanted to do some side quests instead. Dynamite, huh? I thought it was dynamite. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, how's it going? Uh, no, I don't think so. As a matter of fact, though, instead of resting up there, let's heal up a little bit. 
And then I want to use whatever flower tabs I don't haven't used yet because we're going to get a whole bunch in the next area we're going to be going to. And let's see, we got a little shop here, so let's buy some new stuff. Oh, oh, okay, sounds like a plan. You guys are moles after all. But anyway, let's see, we want to get a punch glove for Mario. We already got the finger, finger shot for Gino. Symbols, better weapon for Mallow there. We got the next tier of equipment here, but instead of going for those, I want to go with work pants. They're the only piece of armor in the, or body armor, in the game that boosts your offensive stats as well as your defensive stats besides the uh, super suit there. So let's uh, equip that. Let's see, let's get a little better weapon there. Let's go with the work pants there. You see how it's, uh, it actually lowers his defense a little bit, but uh, it's totally worth it, at least for now, anyway. If you're a new player, you may want to go with the mega equipment, but I don't think that's necessary. At least not right now. Eventually, I will want to get something different because the offense from the work pants will be less important. But anyway, I want to equip that fearless pin at this point. See, we already got the good weapon there. Uh, work pants are actually really good for Gino there. Uh, for some reason, his armors, or body armors, don't really give that much defense or magic defense in general. And anyone can equip the work pants, so that's pretty nice. Give him fearless pin. I'm not going to sell my excess equipment for now. Let's sell that, and I still want to hold on to all of that stuff, because I'm probably going to hit the money cap in the next dungeon I'm going to go through anyway. So, no matter what I do. An emergency. Hmm. See what's going on in here? Hmm. I don't believe you. Eh, I think that's just a rumor. Vicious lies. Fiendish slander. Maybe it's an evil star. I don't know. How do you guys live in houses like this anyway? Or maybe it goes into the ground a little bit. I mean, they are moles. Give them a good way to escape. Huh? What's that sound? Uh-oh! What's he doing here? What happened to all your Koopa troops? Your army's kind of dwindling there, Bowser. Are we gonna kick his ass sooner or later? Oh. Nice. Yeah, but you guys got your ass kicked against me, too. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Oh. So he's not working with them. Huh. Oh. Yeah, that is true. So what were you doing? Just making a pit stop here or something? I guess he doesn't care about the stars. Well, so much the better for us. Let's see what's up here. Okay, how's it going? What's going on? Okay, how's it going? Hmm. Well, let's uh, head on in and then check it out. Oh. So that's what happened there. That's... Well, okay. I'll see what I can do. Why not? Gotta get the star anyway. But uh, your uh, your men are more important, of course. Hmm. Well, let's go into the mine and check it out. Oh. She doesn't exactly look like she's moping. Oh. Yeah, I suppose. Oh. Hmm. Nuts. If only there were a way we could get up there. Hey, hey! He is! Uh, yeah, I've heard the news about the kids. Sure, 
Why not? Sounds like a great idea. Okay, well, we could hop up on their shoulders, but uh, let's not do that yet. I'm not sure about that star there. It sounds a little fishy to me. Is there really a star in the mines? Or is it just a crack instead? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!